Hey guys, welcome back. We got a couple of 2JZs to work on. Uh, I got my son here, Hayden, helping me. Hey, hi, Hayden. Hi. Yeah, so uh, these are Frank's engines. We got the VVTi. Just open the thing here. We got the uh, VVTi stock one that's gonna get cams, ball springs, and uh, front main seal, cam seals, timing belt. Kind of go over it. This one is a built motor. This one has been built four years ago and uh, he never turned it over. So it's been, I think, four or five years where they built it and uh, it's never been turned over or put any oil in it. So I, we're going to take the head off, just make sure everything's okay. So we'll take the engines down, we'll put one on a stand and uh, we'll record some stuff, all right? So we've got the engine on a stand. Um, as previously said, this engine's been built about five years ago and uh, they, they never really used it. So I asked the owner to, let's take a look at it. The original plan was to take the head off and see how the bores look. Um, I was concerned about uh, rust on the engine cylinder walls, but uh, we, I took the pan off and I figured, let's check the wall from down here. It's got really good compression and you can clearly see, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, they did put oil on the cylinder walls and everything is lubricated. I mean, we didn't really know who built it, so we were concerned about, did they put any oil on the cylinder wall? Did they, you know, is everything rusted down here? But uh, luckily, looks good. I'm gonna take this off the stand and we'll do the other one. This one needs to get uh, a water pump and a bunch of other stuff. So let's take that off. I'll take that off and I'll put this back on. All right, so we got the VVTi back on. Uh, this is an Aristo 2JZ. As you can see, the sump is in the front. So this is going in the super. We're gonna have to replace the sump, make a mid sump. This is also gonna get uh, cams, valve springs, um, valve stem seals, retainers, a uh, new water pump, front main seal, cam seals, rear main seal. Yeah, so let's get to it. All right, so fast forward a little bit, uh, remove the cam covers, remove the cams. Uh, Seems like the, the oil was sitting there for a long time. See, this motor I heard has been sitting outside for a long time. So, you know, we're putting uh, we're putting cams in this engine. I think he's got uh, BC 272. Uh, so we're gonna have to lash the cams with the buckets. And typically when the head's like this, I the, the, the lash kind of ends up wrong. So you'll have to Swap the shims, because these this is not gonna have shimless buckets. It's gonna have these uh, OEM 2JZ buckets. So they have these little shims here. So you can swap the shim to adjust the lash. But uh, we'll see. We'll put the cams in and we'll see. I'm gonna have to change the valve springs. So we're gonna have to put rope on top of the piston. Use, uh, use the tool that I got. Somewhere here, I'm gonna use this tool. It's already got its money's worth. <laughs> so basically you put this tool over here and then you screw in the valve. I'm gonna have to put rope on the piston. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be another day. For now, let's, uh, I'll remove the pulley, I'll remove the water pump and we'll do a little miscellaneous around here first. Remove the water pump, remove the pulley. Move the timing belt. This is the old water pump. We've got a new one right here. Look at this thing. That's a sign of uh, cam seals leaking. So the cam seals leak from up here. Oil goes down. It splashes all over the pulley and makes that mess. So we got a new water pump. Water 
pump, new seals, that's the bedding. New wall pipes in, new timing belt, I put the tensioner back in. I gotta get uh, this upper water neck because it's broken, but uh, much cleaner. Tried cleaning a few plastic pieces and they're too dirty, so he's gonna have to order another one. But uh, we'll be back tomorrow and uh, we'll do the upper piece, we'll do the valve springs and all that. See ya. Hey guys, day two, we're back at it. Uh, we're working on this uh, VVTI engine again. So we're gonna do valve spring replacement and valve stem seals. And I'll show you a little bit uh, basic how to do this. It's very easy. Um, so need some tools, need a rope, need this tool. So for basic valve spring replacement, um, it's easy to do it at home. Um, if you're getting your head built professionally, I, I send my head to Head Games, uh, Dave and all the guys there help me out. But if this is something simple where you're replacing, you know, valve springs, you're just changing the OEM springs to lighter, to stiffer springs, because you can upgrade the cams. This is something you can do at home and I'll kind of give you a little tutorial how to do it. It's pretty much, it's very easy. So let's do it. All right, so first you want to make sure that the piston is all the way down, bottom dead center, all right? So you put a little screwdriver all the way through, make sure it's in the bottom. I use a little socket like this and I put it here. It's a lot easier to feed this rope so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this rope. Uh, let's grab the other side. So we got some, some of this cotton rope and we're gonna feed it through. With the socket, it's a lot easier to feed it because if you don't have it, you're kind of putting your finger all the way down there in that hole where the spark plug is. So I feed about six feet of rope all right so the rope won't go in furthermore what I do is I turn clockwise and push it up so that way I'm compressing the rope I'll pull it back down a little bit and try to put a little more see if a little more goes in yeah I can't put any more so so let's tighten it again. Don't go crazy when tightening, like just snug, right? So now we're gonna grab this tool. All right, so we got the tool in. We'll put that cup in there. So the rope is currently holding the valve shut, right? So I don't know if you can see in there. But uh, we're gonna tighten. Goes. Grab a magnet. There you go. I'll grab the small magnet next time, but uh, that's basically what we do. We just push it down, put the magnets aside, make sure you don't lose the keepers. Let's put these keepers aside. Springs loose. And there you go. Retainer. Spring. And then we'll change the the valve stem seal. So repeat this for all of them. I'm not gonna show you it all, I think it will get pretty boring. But we'll do all that and then we'll put the cams in and I'll show you the lash. So replaced all the valve springs. We're actually missing one spring. He's gonna have to get me in one more spring, but uh, replaced all the valve springs, all the retainers, all the valve stem seals. And I got uh, the exhaust cam in here. These are HKS, I believe 264, 264, 272 cams, HKS. So uh, next up is uh, we'll check the lash. For some reason, I can't find my, my lash tool. This is for plugs. So I'm gonna have to go buy the lash tool. We're gonna check all the lash and just make sure that the lash is correct. Um, put it back together. So that's pretty much it. So uh, if you like these videos, subscribe. Let me know what you like to watch. And uh, I guess I'll see you later. Take care.